right. Morning, Mr. May. Good morning. Hello, Johnny. Lovely morning. Hi, Johnny. Beautiful morning. Morning, Mr. Lee. Harry, it's a marvelous morning. Have a nice trip. Sensation. Great city, Boston. Terrific. Nobody can, but I happen to have a photograph of her here. Oh, oh, oh. Well, well, well. Hello, Carter. So you combine business with pleasure. Wait till Judge Doolittle hears about this, my boy. Here's about what? About you getting married on his time, without his consent, or his daughter's. What's she got to do with it? Well, now, my boy, the chief topic of conversation around these parts has been that you and Miss Doolittle... No, malarkey. Office talk, Carter. There's a word of truth in it. Judge Doolittle may not think so. Is that so? Well, if he doesn't like it, he can lump it. Mason? Oh, good morning, Judge Doolittle. What's all this mess? Uh... Well, it seems that everybody around here found out that I, that, uh, when I was up in Boston... What are you doing in Boston? You sent me, sir. Don't you remember? You sent me up there to get a deposition on the Higgins versus Higgins case. Did you get it? Yes, sir. Well, what's all this, what's all this horseplay? Well, while I was in Boston, after I got the deposition, I had a few hours to spare, and so I, um, had a few, just a few hours. Well, well, go on, go on. I got married. You what? I got married. Got married? Yes, sir. I got married. Come into my office. Yes, sir. Where's the deposition? There you are, sir. What's this? Uh, it's just sort of a letter. <laughs> so you got married? Yes, sir. I imagine this will be a surprise to some people. Yes, sir. Uh, no, sir. I mean, well, I don't know. It all happened rather suddenly. See, we met on Boston Common the night I arrived, and uh, I'd had a bite at Thompson's Spa, and then I took a little stroll around the Common, and. I saw her standing there. She, uh, just standing there. She had a cinder in her eye. Well? In her eye. Whose eye? Jane's. Uh, Mrs. Mason, my wife. Oh. Of course, she wasn't my wife then. She's my wife now. So. And I, I got the cinder out of her eye. And you married her? Yes, sir. Quick work, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, Judge, we, we knew the moment we looked at each other. We, we knew the moment we looked at each other. You did? Yes, sir. Last year, there were nearly a half a million divorces in this country. Congratulations, Mason. Well, thank you very much, sir. Mr. Hutch would like your opinion on this, sir. Oh, this is for you, Mr. Mason. Special messenger. It's Mark Rush, important. Oh. Rush? Important? What is it? Oh, it's nothing. What is it? Oh, it's uh, a letter from my wife. Your wife? What'd you do, leave her in Boston? Oh, no, she's right here, sir. Here in town? Yes, sir. Well, if the wife's in town, why'd she write you a letter? Well, she likes to write letters, Judge. 
Yes, it's sort of a little custom we have. You see, she wrote me a letter the first day she met me, right as soon as she got home, and she's written me one ever since. Even coming down on the train together, she wrote me. You see, when I get a letter from her, it's sort of like a uh, sort of a visit, you see. Mm. Judge, uh, we, uh, when two people get married, they usually go on a honeymoon. I didn't. I don't approve of honeymoons. Waste of time. Uh-huh. Well, you know how women are, and Mrs. Mason and I... What about Higgins against Higgins? You're the only one in the office knows this case. It's on the calendar for next week. Well, if I could get a continuance. Opposing counsel wouldn't consent. Well, but I talked to Mr. Hornblow this morning, and he agreed to a continuance. Well, all right. Take a week. A week? Well, Judge, I'm afraid we wouldn't be able to make it in a week. What? We couldn't make it in a week. Make what? My wife and I had sort of planned a trip to Europe on the Normandy. Oh, well, take two weeks then. And uh, after I got the cinder out of Jane's eye, we, we talked for a little while, and then we uh, took a little walk around the commons. Yes? And uh, now we walked for quite some time, then we went over to Thompson's Spa for a bite. Yes? And we had a bite. Well... Rather an unconventional meeting, wasn't it? Well, these cookies are delicious. They're made with sour cream. Oh, I'm crazy about sour cream. I'm crazy about Jane. Okay. John's so young and impulsive. Oh, well, now, Mother, wait a minute. This is different. Are you visiting relatives here in New York, my dear? Uh, well... Yes and no, we not exactly. <laughs> I came over with Johnny. From Boston, together, last night. Well, yes, Mother, we thought as long as we were engaged. Engaged? Oh, I know how upset you must be, Mrs. Mason. You know so little about me, and it all happened so suddenly. I should think it was sudden. What did your family have to say about it? I have no family. Oh. Didn't John say something about your taking a course in journalism? Yes, but I gave it up after I met Johnny. Yeah, I'm sort of a postgraduate course. <laughs> if you have a talent for writing, take my advice and develop it while you're young. One needs all one's time and energy for a career. Don't you think marriage is a career in itself? Oh, indeed, emphatically. That's why one mustn't rush into it pell-mell. Marriage is a business, a very serious business, a partnership, in the strictest sense of the word. One must prepare for it. There are so many things to learn. Well, uh, Jane will learn all those after we're married. I hope and pray that that day will not come for many years. Well, Mother, what, what do you mean? You mean we shouldn't? Emphatically not. There's no reason for Jane to develop into a little household drudge. Oh, I hope you understand. I have nothing against Jane. In fact, I like her. I like her very much. Well, I'm glad you do, Mother, because... You remember a little while ago you asked Jane whether she'd come to New York to visit relatives? Well, as a matter of fact, she has come to New York to visit relatives. She's visiting some right now. You see, we're married. Oh. 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 Well, now, Mother, everybody gets married sooner or later. Johnny, get the smelling salts. What do they look like? Mother, where are the smelling salts? Uh. Uh. What's done 
is done. You'll have children of your own, I suppose, and you love them and devote your life to them. Then they'll grow up and leave you, and you'll say to yourself, it's all right, that's the way it is. You've served your purpose. Mother, don't excite yourself anymore. Oh, I'm all right now. <laughs> I wish you every possible happiness and joy. I think perhaps I'd better go to bed. I'm all right. I'll find a place to live, of course. Some place to live? Well, of course not, Mother. You'll stay with us. <laughs>